Come and get your mail. This one's oh. from Ma Dalton. Betty Boo? And the magic penguins? Huh. A book? Fooey, that's for smart Alex. Bills, bills, bills. What? 10,000 for dentist bills? Uh, yes, all the inmates had cavities. The dentist had to do 127 pills <laughs> in gold. <laughs> ah, Rant and Dumb! <laughs> Now I had never had a single cavity. And why is that? Because I never indulge in sugar. So from now on, sugar is forbidden in this prison. Uh, I can't read this. William, can you read the magic penguin story for me, please? Be aware that nitroglycerin is a highly unstable explosive that can be triggered at the slightest shock. Ah, good old Ma! She smuggled the recipe for explosives in this book. Guys, if we play it right, we're blowing the door out tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah. I know, I know, I love sugar too. But orders are orders. The coast is clear, so we need a cooking pot, oil, rubbing alcohol. Avril, you find the salt. Hmm? No, no. Ready? Go! Oil did it. Rubbing alcohol was one kilo of salt. Stir everything gently. That's it. It's ready. Time to eat! You don't eat that, you ninny! Spit it out right now! Uh, no, don't spit it out! Don't! No! We're alive? So why doesn't this nitrogen explode? It's marshmallow. Oh, if this changes everything into marshmallow, okay, we throw it at the wall, we chew out a tunnel, and we're free. All terms. Huh? Time for a mandatory inspection. It's alive! It looks like an alien life form! Aliens have invaded us! <laughs> Aha! Very interesting. Oh, it's my candle! I thought I lost it. Confiscated! Uh. Aha! <laughs> Incredible! I've never ever tasted anything this delicious. What is it? Marshmallow! Huh? Confiscated! <laughs> we have to get that pot back! Those men are such children. Let me talk to them. <laughs> Let's get out of here with the pot. Oh, my candle. And so there. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> it's all dark. I'm scared, Joe. Don't you worry! There you go! Whoa! I knew it! A UFO! Wint and Dumb, you must stop the invasion! Attack! Marshmallow everywhere! Why, this is... this is fantastic! He's lost it! We do the same thing. The back wall leads outside. Start eating, boy! You see what I see? The entire prison is made of marshmallow. Mr. Peabody, look! The Daltons are eating through the wall. The wall? What a good idea. Hmm, let's see what this coat stand tastes like. Oh, oh. 
several. You should go first. No! Can we stay a little longer in this marshmallow prison? You need it! <laughs> <laughs> so, freedom is ours! The Daltons have escaped! Sound the alarm! Yes, indeed, Miss Betty. One last ball and chain and we're off. <laughs> they must be the ringleaders! Enough, Daltons. Come on down now. We can't. We're stuck. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have listened to Mommy. No more sugar. <sighs> never again. You simply need to be reasonable. A little sugar now and then never hurt anyone. And here's a marshmallow, Dalton Shish Kebab. Don't bother thanking me. I simply did my duty. And now, the planet is safe once again. <laughs> Joe, I started an autograph collection, the most famous bandits in the West. That's a good idea, right? The most famous bandit in the West is me. Let's have a look. <laughs> Ow! Wow! Thank you! Uh, there's just one Ann and Dalton. Hmm. Mr. James East, what an honorism to welcome the Pinkerton Agency's legendary bounty hunter. Ah, ah. You're after information about Butch Cassidy? I'm sorry, none of my inmates are familiar with we that. We know where he's hiding. Do we know Butch Cassidy, Joe? No! Where? It's too complicated to explain, but we can take you there. Uh, perhaps you could provide a few extra notes for the Daltons, Mr. East? Mmm, yum! That smells... like grilled hot dogs! Five hundred more and I'm taking the dog along. I wonder where we're going to be setting up this delicious barbecue. Hey, mister, <laughs> this isn't what we expected. How can we guide you tied up like this? North, south, east, west. South! If that kid can poop thinks he can drag us around like this forever, he's making a serious mistake! <laughs> Don't you agree, Joe? At least we don't have to walk anymore. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> so when do we see Butch Cassidy, Joe? Shh. He's going to hear you. Huh? But what's Skin and Bones doing here? <laughs> North, south, east, west. I'm not telling! <laughs> west. <laughs> you built it, talking hot dogs! You don't move. <laughs> that ninny thinks we're going to just hang around and wait? Ha <laughs> ha! We steal horses and we get out! North, south, east, west. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some guns! 
North, south, east, west. Ah! North Cassidy is in the north. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there! I found him! If we swing ourselves, maybe we can get to that lake. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Gale, maybe we should have a real duel man to man. No gadgets, if you're able to. Able. Ooh. Ah, this is what we need to get away. All we have to do is find the right gadget. Ah. Whoa! More hot dogs! Fast! <laughs> Fast! Ah! Yeah, best part of what's in power! Stop! So anyway, how'd you find me? Dalton. The Daltons, they'll pay for this! Mm. Admiral, you are a genius! That ninny didn't even see us leave! I have an issue with the Daltons. Pause. Pause. <laughs> 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 Penitentiary. Mr. Cassidy! My autograph! <laughs> Catch me if you can! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Daltons. But where's James East? And Butch Cassidy, did he find him? Oh, yes, he did, thanks to us, Mr. Peabody. But I didn't get my autograph. Thieves have no honor these days. <laughs> it was a great barbecue and great atmosphere. <laughs> Criminals are arrested wherever they happen to be, with the result that some penitentiaries are overcrowded and others are empty. And that is an open door to escape. And so, what do you suggest? We should relocate penitentiaries to areas where crime prevails. We may have a solution. Your establishment has been chosen to test the itinerant, inflatable penitentiary? What on earth is this jokeism? Mr. Huh? Peabody, sir, there's a strange thing outside. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ooh, a balloon! Can we play with it? <laughs> what is this thing? A new prison, inflatable and itinerant, uh, which means it can be moved around with ease some. We're taking a trip inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so modern and such fun. We're going sightseeing. It's almost like being on vacation. <laughs> Escaping from an inflatable penitentiary is a piece of cake. A sharpened antenna, it deflates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my new kennel. And it's about time. I've been waiting for the kind of home I deserve. Be my guest. Welcome to my new abode. Don't pay attention to the mess. You know what moving's like. <laughs> <laughs> Message from the governor. Crime is on the increase down south. We've got to go there. 
Well then, off we go and forward with progress. A traveling kennel that's actually quite clever. Okay, here's the plan. Sit down. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, that wasn't me, it's the bird! <laughs> Stop! Right, that's enough. We wait until nightfall, we slip out to the main entrance, puncture the door, and get out. So it's dead simple, get it? But why don't we just puncture the penitentiary right now? Well, because... Because we can't have the whole penitentiary explode. Joe wants to puncture the door so it deflates. Uh, yes, that's it. We puncture, it deflates, and we take off. Oh, the stars! They're moving! The prison keeps moving at night. Must be an automatic pilot mode. Hand me something sharp. Got that, you ninny! Find me a nail, a needle, a knife, a thing that punctures, makes a hole, that deflates! We ain't got anything like that. Ah! Ah! Gods! Oh, actually, Joe, you do realize all pointed objects have been banished from the penitentiary? <laughs> Cautionism. <laughs> Quite invasive, these house guests. I do feel a home. I don't believe it. There has to be a way of getting out of here. Yeah, bro. We have to find the valve. The what? The pump valve. It's like a cork keeps the air in. Unscrew it and the penitentiary deflates. What? So you know where the valve is located? Well, sure. It's huh? in Peabody's office, right under his seat. Hmm. Come in. Mr. Peabody. Yes? What do you want? Huh? Mr. Peabody, the walls are drooping. Idiotic bunch of ninnies! Stop him! Let me go! I said let me go! <laughs> wow! Now we can see the ocean! Hmm? Can we allow our inmates to swim in the sea? All right, but chain and balls are obligatory, and the Daltons stay locked inside. <laughs> You were right, Miss Betty. This is a most pleasant break. Sun, sea, and restism. With the balls and chains, our inmates won't get far. It's not fair. I wanted to go swimming. Better idea. We're all alone in this inflatable penitentiary at the ocean's edge. So we slide it into the water and float to freedom like a boat. That's pretty smart, right? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> House guests taking off with my new kennel? Now that just won't do. I must have a word with them. Oh! <laughs> Attention! <laughs> Dalton's escaping! Pete, I must get that penitentiary! Uh, it's just that we don't know how to swim. Thanks for everything! <laughs> we'll send you a postcard! <laughs> The Daltons are getting away, aren't they? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that island is Alcatraz, the prison no one ever escapes from. My cousin Ronald is in charge there. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair!
giant freeze. Rip. Rip it. Oh. <laughs> I call this springing to freedom. <laughs> Who did that? I think he wants us to follow. No way. Now, oh, in fact, I think I'll be staying a little longer. Where are we going? Is this an escape? Do we know you? Are you somebody famous? How old are you? When do we eat? are not my thing. Make it short. Oh, I asked for a vacation to visit my sister. Mr. Peabody refused, so I'm holding you hostage. There you are. Clear, concise, right to the point. And if Peabody doesn't give in, what do you do then? Well, I imagined I would set you free. That's the only way I could uh -huh. pressure you. <laughs> well, okay. We agree to be a hostages. We'll do whatever you need. Look, tie in, send SOS messages, everything. Go on, Miss Betty. Get to work. Go threaten oh, Peabody. Really? That's just marvelous. You're the most cooperative hostages I've ever taken. In fact, the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> I know Peabody. He'll never agree. And the next step, we're free. Oh. Ah, the Indians are attacking. <laughs> I've kidnapped the Delta. If you won't give me a vacation, I'm setting them free. Signed, the Masked Avenger. Oh, Mr. Peabody! I oh, know, the Daltons have been kidnapped by Miss Betty. Oh, yeah? Well, we thought they kidnapped her. Mr. Peabody, sir! That's fine, Miss Betty. You can take a vacation, but give me back the Dalton! <laughs> yes! What, already? He agreed no negotiations? I wanted a vacation, I got one, and that's fine. It's fantastic, I can visit my sister, and you're all free. Free if you like, but we're still here in prison. No, that is not fair. You have to ask for more. How about a wagon full of oats and $10,000 in cash? What do you say? Mm, no. Well, how about girly things like flowers, pink stuff, rubble? Great idea, Admiral. We'll deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> what? He agreed again? Why, that director is a real cheapskate. Okay, then, fine. He wants war, he'll get war. We are going to demand something he will have to refuse. Uh, I mean to say, we're making absolutely normal demands, Miss Betty, because you're worth it. Oh. There! <laughs> Let's keep in touch. Huh? Oh no, she's gone too far. This is out of the question. I would lose authoritism. But actually, Mr. Peabody, sir, we don't really have the choice. Oh, very well. Okay, we've done everything just like you asked. <laughs> Are you going to hand them over now? Uh, I need to talk to my, my, my hostages. <laughs> Follow her. I want to know where she's hiding them. <laughs> The Martian shelter. I completely forgot oh, no. to... Oh. <laughs> 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 hmm? Hey, 
Excuse me, ladies. Go after them! The walls might be pink, Joe, but that doesn't change that they're still walls. No! I've got a plan. <laughs> The result? Are you happy now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. I've got what I wanted. I'll deal with the Delta. You don't feel so smart now, do you, Joe Dalton? <laughs> Time for you to submit to authorityism. Authority maybe, Mr. Peabody, but whatever you say, you're not the one wearing the pants now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, garden is a perfect way to unwind. Come along, don't be shy. Everyone come get a little shovel and seeds. Each of us will dig a little hole over here by the wall where we plant an acacia tree seed. Now, don't try and use this as a way to escape you, Dalton. <laughs> oh, of course. Spade, hole, what's that mean, guys? Escape, boys! We keep the spades and we dig a hole for ourselves. A teapot! Hey, you very stiff like I do! <laughs> what small holes they're amateurs! Right! We can't dig the tunnel here because of the Indian village. That we lease the deadly river and this to the endless desert. The only way out is here! We'll just need a 500 meter long tunnel. 500 meters? With this? That'll take months. So you've got other plans for the summer, you ninny? <laughs> hey, a weird thing just came out of my teapot. <laughs> I'm not a weird oh. thingy. I'm a genie. Oh, yeah? If you're a genius, what are you doing in jail? <laughs> <laughs> I said a genie who grants wishes. Three per person, to be precise. That's four of you, so that's 12 wishes. I want a salami sandwich. Granted. Oh. With a pickle would be nice. Granted. Hang on. If I understand, this weird thingy can make us a tunnel in one second without a spade. Stop these stupid wishes. Actually, I really like pickles, so I'd rather... Hmm, uh, uh, you're lucky. I can visualize your thoughts. You want to move? Granted, here you go. Listen here, buddy. We want a tunnel from here to there. Granted. Uh -huh. mm. No! What we want is a real tunnel that starts in our cell here, 500 meters long, straight south! Granted! Yeah! Oh, see, the tunnel's for us. We need to fit inside. Granted! <laughs> well, what? Now you guys fit. Let's take this thing. We've still got wishes left. Hey, 
say, you could have rubbed before entering. Get out of here. You want us out? Well, grant our wishes. Instead of wasting wishes on stupid tunnels, you could have just asked to escape. Guys, I have a genius idea. What we want is to escape in normal size. Now you're getting it. Granted. <laughs> We are free! We're outside! <laughs> okay, now you've had your laugh. Now get us away from here, far from here! And how far? Thousand miles, that way, with a smooth landing. No funny business! Granted. I said smooth! You said smooth landing. You didn't say smooth takeoff. Fasten your seat belts. We're in for a little turbulence. from here, but somewhere peaceful, okay? No need to shout. Granted. Oh. 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 We're free! Uh, anyone know how to swim? Hey, wait! You can read my thoughts, right? Make my dream come true. I want whatever is best for a Dalton. See Peabody's face right now. And your last wish granted. Sometimes I wish that just once you would actually escape for good. for a full-time job as a guardian angel, Lamplight, not for a vacation. In one month, you took 27 days off. Well, yeah, my alarm clock was broken. I have to take disciplinary measures. From now on, I appoint you as the official guardian angel to Avril Dalton. No! <laughs> Suction cups always pop you up to freedom. Hello, Dalton. Feel that like blockhead? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> That's bizarre. Smells like chicken. <laughs> Rent and done. Watch him. <laughs> Why do I always get in trouble and you never seem to? That's because I have a guardian angel, Joe. For sure, you've got a guardian angel and I have webbed feet. Well, hey, it's true. I am going to hammer you. So if you have a guardian angel, you won't feel it. <laughs> No. Don't you guys ever sleep? I'm not working all night long just to protect this big ninny. Who are you? 
Lenny Lamplight, certified guardian angel assigned to the protection of Averill Dalton. In fake dogs cheese chickens. I get a little scotch from that chicken. How did you do that? Well, he has powers, Joe, like all guards and angels. Yeah, well, that depends on your grade. Me, for example. I can be invisible, I'm immortal, and I can wiggle my ears. <laughs> and you can go through walls too, right? Well, no, I'm afraid I failed that course. But doors, I can. <laughs> Lenny, is that it? How about you go and get the director's keys with your powers? That's not regulation. You want me to get fired or what? Okay, I've got a deal for you. I protect Dabro for one day, that way you relax, and in exchange, you give us your powers for one day. Regulation, right? Okay, but just you. I can't do all four. That would be obvious. <laughs> That's for your own good. And now, good night. Okay. Avril, let's go. Oh, Avril. Ah, where is he going now, that ninny? Open up! Where is Avril? He's breaking stones. Ah! <laughs> Leave that. I'll do it. You could hurt yourself. You okay, Joe? Super. There's a chicken around here for sure. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh. Hey, Feather Duster. Hey, Lenny! <sighs> yeah, what? Okay, mission accomplished. Hand over the powers. Slow down. What's the rush? Okay, what's the formula again? And uh, break it the. Oh, I know, I get it. Zig wig wee, riggy plum plum, poop poop and tra la la. There! Is that it? Wow, you're shining, Joe! <laughs> hey, did I tell you? I skipped the walk through walls class. I have a suspicion that I've been bamboozled. Well, you can fly. That's cool. Hey, look. Peabody has installed new lighting. Huh? Huh? Joe, Joe Dalton? Dalton? They can see me? I'm not here. It's not me. But, but how, how did, did he, he do, do that? that? He's too now. It's a brood. Riff, 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 riff. <laughs> it is kind of practical. Okay, I can control my powers. I'll get the key, come back, and we take off. Since you know how to fly, we reckon it's easier if you carry us. Yeah, but then you'll crash, and guess who'll take all the blame then? Ah. <laughs> you should really watch out. You're overweight. Maybe, but we are free. <laughs> 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 It's no fun being an angel. We're finally done it, Joe. We can finally live life like we used to. Yeah, pull up banks, rob old ladies, attack stagecoaches. <laughs> but that is wicked. <laughs> we have to do good things in life. So we're going back to the prison to serve our sentence. What's, What's happened, happened to, to Joe? Joe? He has become good. One of the possible side effects. Doesn't affect me much, but with him, it's pretty acute. I do not want to escape. I want to help my fellow convicts. <laughs> my friends, I love you. Long live love and good deeds. Hey, look here. A pretty little house on the prairie's waiting for you. <laughs> 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 hey, I did pretty good there, right, boss? I watched over Averill really well. Not bad. To compensate that, I'm giving you a cozy little mission. I name you the official guardian angel too, Joe Dalton. No! <laughs> <laughs>